know I'm here. Philip, do you know I'm here? I can hear you. <laughs> Your back looks great. You look phenomenal. <laughs> look at that suit. Do I just turn around? Or is Anne tapping me? Oh, just turn around. Oh, you went with the mom tie. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> I love you. You look very beautiful. Thank you. Look at you. You're so dapper. You're such a dapper groom. You're a beautiful bride. Oh. Dear Anne, you look beautiful today. I can't imagine any person, place, or time better than this one. I love that you've broken down my defensive walls over the past four years so that we can build up a life together. And so as I stand on this precipice with you, about to take the leap on a journey of a lifetime, I wanna make a few commitments to you. I vow to build a life of joy with you. I vow to keep pushing and supporting you through the tough times, using them as an opportunity to grow and deepen our partnership and understand our parts. And I vow to do everything I can to make this dream of our life together a reality and hopefully making our small family a brood. Yeah, there's no one I'd rather be here with. And I love you very much. Okay. <laughs> okay, dear Philip, I feel so blessed to be standing here with you today, about to become your wife, and to call you my husband. But when I think about today, it isn't about me or you, it's about this entity of togetherness, partnership, of soon to be marriage, that we've built in our building together. Today and every day, I promise to love and nurture all the parts of you and to be open and vulnerable, sharing all the parts of me. Most of all, I promise to always hold fast to this conviction that together, in marriage, we really are greater than the sum of our parts. We've talked about this, and even though there might be sparklers glowing, trumpets blaring, cameras flashing. At the heart of all of it and at the depths of all of it will be the celebration of this beautiful life we're building together. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, isn't it? We're like getting married today. <laughs> Love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. Love never ends. Now, this is the scripture that people get blowouts for. The other scripture is about feet <laughs> and, and actually not just any old feet but feet in need of washing dirty feet in, in the story one of jesus followers simon peter he says as much he says I, I don't want you to see my gross feet i don't want you to smell my gross feet i don't want you to touch my gross feet But Jesus pays Simon Peter's protests no mind. 
Jesus proceeds to wash his feet. Everything in us and everything about us that we may see as ugliness, it's all this which Jesus looks upon with tenderness and embraces in love. And the work of marriage is to see that in one another and to embrace it in love. If you keep doing the, the feet thing, this will not be the happiest day of your lives. The happiest day of your lives is going to be some ordinary, forgettable Wednesday. And so I ask you, will you, Anne, enter into this sacred bond with a clear eye and a full heart? If so, please say, I will. I will. And will you, Phil, enter into this sacred bond with a clear eye and a full heart? And if so, please say, I will. I will. Anne and Phil, you are married with the blessing of Christ's church. Be merciful in all your ways, kind in heart and humble in mind, and never forget to be grateful for all that God has done for you. You may kiss. <laughs>